Next week in Team Bembridge, September 28th to October 2nd, 2020. Let's check out what's on the agenda. Next week is week two. So please note there are some important dates coming up. On September 27th, uh, it will be Yom Kippur. It begins at sundown on Monday. Actually, today, sorry. Um, on September 30th, we'll be celebrating Orange Shirt Day. Uh, Every Child Matters by wearing orange shirts. Uh, the first virtual SAC meeting will be on September 30th. And on October 1st will be our virtual curriculum night. Uh, please return student info forms to school on Tuesday. We'll be having a visit from our guidance counselor on Wednesday after lunch. Mr. McDonald will be coming in. And band starts this week, so please be sure to check for an important message from Mr. Dimoff. You can see our schedule is on page three, and we have got a lot of interesting things coming up this week. We are continuing to read Don't Stand So Close to Me by Eric Walters, and we'll start our mornings with wake up work, which involves typing.com, extra math practice, Lego challenge builds, Boggle, some logic puzzles, and we'll also start with some three act tasks, and those are a math challenge activity. In Writer's Workshop, we'll be doing some peer editing. Um, we'll have a mini lesson on how to use the tag uh, format for editing peer work. We'll, in math, we'll also be exploring large numbers with the If I Had a Million Dollar Shopping Spree project. And on Monday, we'll also be learning about the very famous uh, artist Piet Mondrian and we'll be creating our own digital art using Google Sheets. We'll be also setting some goals and uh, going over some time management skills and organization with Google Keep. On Monday we also have French and music so we've got a busy day. On Tuesday, uh, after our regular morning wake-up work, we'll be doing a pair deck for news, a news ELA story, and we'll be using the five W's and the one H to um, summarize that story and pull out information from a news article. We'll be continuing with our million dollar shopping spree in math and in cross-curricular learning we'll be talking about social responsibilities and we'll be writing an introduction letter to our buddies in Book Creator and creating an intro video on Flipgrid for our grade one two GG buddies at Base and View. And it is also our first day of phys ed this week on Tuesday, and we have phys ed from 105 to 135. So here's hoping for some good weather. On Wednesday, it is Wellness Wednesday, and we will create a collaborative piece with advice on how to practice self-care, how to calm down, how to manage stress, how to deal with things that we don't like or want to do, and how to use our social filters. Uh, in math, we'll be continuing with our Million Dollar Shopping Spree project, and we'll start science with an introduction to flight with a choice board. Remember, you must complete a straight line of activities from the choice board. We have another busy day of specialists on Wednesday, September 30th. Um, please remember that it, we have French at 11.05, and we have music at 1.05, and Mr. Mc Donald will be visiting us from guidance after lunch. Um, on October 1st, that's Thursday, it is Orange Shirt Day and students are encouraged to wear an orange shirt. We'll be doing some collaborative Pear Deck activities about Orange Shirt Day and uh, we'll be following up on our goal setting from Monday using Buncey. Uh, in Math Workshop, we'll be continuing our um, um, million dollar shopping spree project and there will be some mental math work for early finishers. We'll be continuing with our flight uh, choice board and in um, the specialists uh, we'll be doing some activities uh, around orange shirt day because we don't have any specialists on Thursday so the students get all day with me. 
On Friday, it is catch-up day, and uh, any work that is not finished by Friday, uh, this will be students' opportunity to get it finished. We also will be doing a free write Friday uh, writing activity, and we'll do, be doing a weekly reading response. Uh, students will also be able to participate in an unplugged challenge, so that's an unplugged coding challenge, and they'll be working on uh, their lessons in code.org. We will have a classroom meeting to wrap up the week. Um, we'll talk about setup preferences, we'll talk about um, what we liked and learned this week and what we need to do differently next week. And we'll do a little bit of tech training and as part of our weekly, weekly reflection. We have another busy day with specialists with an hour of French and a half an hour of phys ed. Now, this week we will be starting classroom jobs, and we have uh, 10 jobs that will be shared amongst uh, the class, and they will rotate through the class. We have a journalist who will prepare video journal blog posts for the week. Uh, we will also have a facilities inspector who will complete desk inspections. Uh, we'll have a social media manager who prepares Twitter and Seesaw posts. We have an editor who works closely with the journalist to edit and review the, the posts that they're coming up with for the week. We have an equipment manager who is responsible for bringing in and out our bin of outdoor equipment for recess and lunch. We also have bus patrol and our bus patrol is responsible for posting bus departures and making sure we don't miss the bus and miss important announcements. Our cruise director will be listening, listening and paying close attention to our morning announcements and posting events from our announcements. The fire marshal in the event of a fire will be the student assistant to the teacher. The tech support person is responsible for troubleshooting and tech support. And finally, but not least of all, is our Lego designer who will be posting Lego challenges for the week. This week, we welcome Sarah as our video journalist. We have Brooklyn as our facilities inspector. We have Oliver, who is our social media manager. We have Gia, who will be our newsletter editor. And we have Max, our equipment manager for September 28th to October 2nd. We also have Thomas as our bus patrol, we have Willow as our cruise director, we have Angelo as our fire marshal, Aiden will be offering tech support, and Carson will be our Lego designer. It really takes a village to keep a classroom running smoothly. Hashtag the future of Nova Scotia. I have provided a copy of our recess and lunch location schedule, so be sure to check that out. And it also includes who is on duty in each of our sections. Uh, you can read this page to find out more about Orange Shirt Day on September 30th. And if you click on the link, the blue link, it will take you to a website that tells you even more about it. Uh, here's a little snippet of our $100 shopping spree that students will be working on this week. Students must spend exactly $1 million. And there are a few things they must complete, and they will be found on, in numbers 1 to 8 of slides 4 and 5. Students must, must purchase at least 10 things, but they cannot buy more than 3 of the same thing. And students don't need to worry about sales tax. They only need to consider the purchase price. Um, all purchases must be accounted for on their Google expenditure sheets, and they should be accurate reflections of real prices. I've provided them with all kinds of links uh, for online shopping, so I want them to have fun and uh, enjoy finding out the real price of things. Uh, they must design Google Slides that include pictures, prices, and re rationale for the things that they want to buy, and they will present their project once they are completed. And this project will last this week, and we should be ready to, to present it next week.
Uh, this is a copy of our flight choice board and students must complete at least three of these activities and they must complete a straight line. So any straight line they can choose um, but they do need to complete a straight line and I will go over those flight choice boards with students in class. I think it starts on Wednesday. So just a couple of reminders of the mantras in Team Bembridge. We respect each other, we are a team, we try our best, we celebrate each other and our differences, we do hard things, we celebrate and inspire our friends, we are environmental stewards, we exercise our kindness muscles every day, that's so important. We come to school to make mistakes and learn from our mistakes. I really want students to look for solutions, to take chances with their learnings, and finally to help and support each other. Remember, an attitude of gratitude. It's often the smallest things we do consistently in life that make the biggest impact.